So, you have a movie series for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's based on this book series called Harry Potter. What are those about? Harry Potter. Right, that makes sense. Good title. Yeah, he's a boy who finds out that he's a wizard, so he enters this magical world where people are pretty okay with slavery. What? Yeah, a lot of wizards have house elves as unpaid servants. Wow, the wizarding world sounds messed up. Well, they have some cool stuff going on too. Oh, they do? Yeah, they have like cool spells and magical creatures. Oh, that is cool. And uh, potions that can make people fall in love with you against their will. What? So anyway, Harry's parents are killed by the evil Lord Voldemort when he was a baby. How was a baby able to kill his parents? No, Harry was the baby. Oh, Harry is Lord Voldemort? No, Harry was a baby and Lord Voldemort killed his parents. Uh, this movie is confusing. Not really. If you say so, my brain hurts. Voldemort will actually look like a baby at a certain point of the movie, though. Oh, well now I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, Harry's mom sacrifices herself to save him, so when Voldemort tries to kill Harry, it backfires and he kinda dies, but not totally. Wow, so he was, like, protected by love? Yeah. Hadn't anyone sacrificed themselves for a loved one before that point? I guess they didn't. Huh, <laughs> what a loveless world. So yeah, Harry's gonna be raised by this family called the Dursleys, and one day this guy Hagrid's gonna show up to bring him to wizarding school. Oh, what's Hagrid like? Oh, he's super nice. He's actually half giant. He's half giant? Yeah, his dad was a little human dude and his mom was an actual giant. So, how did they... how... How did, how did they, how did they make a baby? Yeah. Well, I guess with a ladder and a lot of determination. Wow, that's super gross to imagine. Not if you're into that kind of stuff. I threw up in my mouth more than a little bit, so I feel like I'm not, but what else happens in the movie? Well, Harry's gonna go to Hogwarts, which is the school for witches and wizards. Oh yeah, what's that like? Oh, uh, it's like a scary, dangerous place where everything's trying to kill you. Oh, so it's, it's in Australia. No, good guess. It's in Scotland, actually. And can anyone apply to go to Hogwarts, sir? No, because the wizarding world is a secret. Like, the students have to take a secret train to get there. Oh, they're keeping it discreet, huh? H how do they get to the train? They run full speed into a brick wall in one of the busiest train stations in the UK. That seems kind of irresponsible. Yeah, well, Hogwarts is a pretty irresponsible place. How so? Well, it's right next to a forest that's super dangerous, like they call it the Forbidden Forest. Oh, uh, so students can never go in there? Exactly. Pretty responsible policy, actually. Unless they get detention, then they get sent in at night. Oh, there it is. The Wizarding World also has its own sport called Quidditch. Oh yeah, what's the deal with Quidditch. Yeah, a bunch of people fly up into the air on broomsticks and go super fast. Seems kind of dangerous. I imagine they're secured to the broom somehow. No, actually, part of the game is trying to knock the other players down. What? Yeah, so anyway, they try to score points by throwing this ball called a quaffle through some hoops. How many points is that worth? Ten a pop. Okay. But then if a seeker catches the golden snitch, that's 150 points and the game ends. Oh, makes the rest of the game feel kind of pointless. Yeah, it's mostly pointless. Huh. Yeah, so anyway, all the books are gonna be about Harry Potter going up against Lord Voldemort, who's trying to rise to power again. How many books are there gonna be? The author told me there are gonna be seven books total, so that's like eight movies. Eight movies for seven books? Yeah, I think by the time we put a couple of these out, people are gonna be so invested that they won't mind if we get a little cash grabby with the last book. Oh, uh, getting cash grabby is tight. Oh yeah, so every year Harry Potter's gonna go through something super dangerous that involves him personally every single time. Pretty unlucky. And Voldemort's gonna plan something evil every year? in the spring. Nice of him to keep to the school schedule like that. Yeah, it's very considerate for sure. So what kind of evil stuff does he plan? Well, like one year he needs a little bit of Harry's blood, right? Right. So he has to come up with some kind of evil plan to get it. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, he's just gonna have one of his followers pose as a Hogwarts teacher for a whole year, then have him sneak Harry's name into the Goblet of Fire so he gets chosen for something called the Triwizard Tournament, even though that breaks all the rules. Then he's gonna hope that Harry somehow wins the tournament even though he's vastly unprepared, so he can touch the Triwizard Cup, which he's turned into something called a port key. That then teleports him to a cemetery where he gets a guy who was pretending to be Harry's friend's rat for years, uh, poke him with a knife. I'll be honest, that plan sounds super inconvenient. Yeah, I guess it does when I lay it all out like that. Seems like there'd be an easier way to get that done, especially with magic being a thing. Yeah, well, that's gonna kind of be a theme in these movies. What do you mean? Well, we're gonna establish some magical things that would solve a lot of problems, but then the characters aren't gonna use them. Like what? For one thing, time travel exists. What? Yeah, there's a thing called the time turner that lets you go back in time. How do they not use that to solve a bunch of their problems? Well, one time they're gonna use it to save a hippogriff, and other than that, it's gonna be used by Harry's friend Hermione, so 
she could take some extra classes. What? Yeah, she wants to take some extra classes, so, you know, they entrust her with the ability to control time itself. And they don't solve any other problems with the time turner. That's right. Wow. There's also a potion called Felix Felicis that makes you super lucky and lets you achieve anything you set out to do. Seems pretty helpful for a war against a dark lord. Yeah, but they're hardly gonna use it. Why wouldn't they, though? Well, we're gonna say that it's kinda hard to make, so... What if somebody took some Felix Felicis and then set out to make more Felix Felicis and then they gave that out to the good guys before a fight? Please don't think about this too much. Okay, then, I won't. So what do you think? Well, I think there's a lot of potential, and I especially like the idea of taking the eventual last book and wringing two movies out of it. Yeah, I thought you might like that. Is there anything else the author's working on that we can exploit like that? Well, apparently she's working on a little gimmicky guidebook thing called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, okay, that sounds interesting. But it's not gonna be a novel, it's gonna be like a guidebook to the Harry Potter creatures. Okay, we'd have to be pretty greedy to try to turn that into a movie. Yeah, I'd say so, let alone its own spin-off series. Can you imagine? Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. We also have a ton of these on the channel, so you can binge watch those if you want. There is a lot of them. And also let me know what other movies I should make these for. And as usual, check back soon for a new one. Buh bye bye <laughs>